The following is a presentation of TFNN. Time to talk about your health. Living a primal lifestyle. You know, we have Tom on from Tampa on the phone. Hey, Tom. Good morning. It's bright and early now, huh? Hey, hey thanks. Good. Hi, Tom. How are you guys doing? Nico? Good. Great. Good. Hey, um, your newsletter is outstanding, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man, it is outstanding. And so is the run of I love that stuff. I'd never be without it. I mean, I've been on it now three, four months, man. I mean, it's just I can't get over how good I feel. Primal Edge is, uh, you know, people are raving about it. People who are trying it, they know because you can feel it. We'd not be without it. Call now. Toll free at one 877 Nine two seven six six four eight internationally at seven two seven four four five one zero four four. Now your hosts, Nico Dehan and Paige Clark. Well, good morning, and I am Paige Clark, and welcome to Living a Primal Lifestyle, where we explore a return to a more balanced, natural, wild world to recover our natural health and regain our rights and freedoms. And it's a beautiful morning, around sixty nine degrees, and. Clearwater, Florida, kind of cloudy a little bit, and Nico is out today, but I have my friend and special guest, Mr. Bruce Pulver, who is a motivational speaker and author and thought leader, and I'm just a and, and long-time, lifetime friend since high school. So thanks for coming in today, Bruce. It's my pleasure. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so you were down here in Florida and uh, on a convention, right. and uh, you were, we were able to work this in. So we had dinner last night, and uh, Nico was able to join us with his lovely wife, Ellen, and we talked about a lot of cool things. And uh, so we're here. It's March 1st, and, and here you are, and you have a thought for us for March. Many of you, let me, let me, let me take a moment. I want to reintroduce Bruce for those of you who don't know about Bruce. If that's okay. That's perfect. Bruce wrote a great book that's kind of changed my life. Not kind of, but really has. It's called Above the Chatter, Our Words Matter. And it's really powerful words that changed my life forever by Bruce Pulver. And his story is fantastic. And rather than me telling it, I'd like you to share your story one more time with everyone of how you got inspired to write this book that is changing lives in individuals lives but also corporations are really yeah. seeking you out um, to be speakers and to share your message to people well it all started um, with a job transition right mm -hmm. and you know so many of us are, are going through those kind of things or, or any kind of kind of moment in your life that I call your BAM moment right. where everything's great when everything's great and then one morning or one uh, one instant something can change and in an instant right in an instant and, and for me, it was, it was a job, um, which uh, I came home one day and woke up the next morning going, I've got to figure this thing out somehow. And there was a word pounding in my head, and the word was strong. So, Bruce, you have to be strong. And I didn't really know what it meant, but it wouldn't stop pounding. So I took the word and I wrote the word vertically, S-T-R-O-N-G, and immediately to my mind came, stand tall, remain optimistic, now go for it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I tried to do. I kind of talk about chin up, shoulders back. I tried to find something in that day that was strong or helped me be strong. Second day, I woke up, and it was today's going to be awesome, pounding in my head in the morning, same time. So here we go, wrote it down vertically again, and awesome was a wonderful experience shall overwhelm my expectations. So I went out and looked for something awesome that day. Third. And this has basically, or so you're going to get into the third day, this has continued for, what's it continued the time frame? For, it continued for 400 consecutive mornings. Wow. Um, with just a word, typically at the same time, pretty t at a quiet moment. And it was, it was truly a gift that sort of came through me, helped me realize something very important. And that is that it, I am the only person that will hear every word I think or every word I say for my entire life. And you're the same. Everyone is the same. So what it taught me to do was choose those words very carefully. And it came through this process of writing these words. They would come to my mind, and I would just write them down. And then I would try to activate the word. I love phrases. I love, you know, quotes. I like, you know, Nico always says, I, I make up my own sniglets, or I like alliterations. Mm -hmm. You know, tips, tools, techniques. I love repeating the sound. It helps me remember things. Right. Well, I'm simple. That's why I really love your book. One, one word is all that I could mm -hmm. comprehend in my mind, so, yeah. 
folks, this is a great book, and uh, you can get it on Amazon, but you can also mm -hmm. contact you and go yep. to your website. But what I have found, I wish maybe we'll all activate our own 400 day of words that are our own unique words. But you can get a great start by having this book and opening. And I do believe that asking that you open to something that's meaningful for you could be a real possibility. Well, yeah, the feedback has been in incredible. Um, folks, will s some say I sat there and read it. Some say I keep it on my nightstand. So like mm -hmm. you said, and it just opened it in the morning. And it's been, like I said, it's been a real gift to me. And, and the feedback from others has been just phenomenal. I think that uh, you made the comment last night that your mission is one person at a time. And I like the fact that you just in your daily life find an opportunity to share your book and your message and you're often gift the book and and you see it multiplying now people are sharing you know, it you're getting people visiting your site well, it, it is a gift mm -hmm. and as part of the process I really feel compelled to um, I don't know the Tom's the Tom shoes author maybe I, when a book is acquired a company may buy some books or someone may buy some books for you know a gift or a party or something like that or a you know Christmas time or whatever that allows me to give a book. So uh, I've been very fortunate. I'm in the healthcare business, and so mm -hmm. I'm in hospitals all the time. Mm -hmm. And so that's one of the channels that I try to find for the book is is find the family services director or the outreach program at a hospital, Ronald McDonald houses, charities, orphanages, and just offer them a book for their library. So that's one way that I feel um, I'm able to spread this word um, and give it to others. And that's exactly like you say, one person or one place at a time. So one of the things that um, I wanted to share was you met up with us last night, mm -hmm. and today is March 1st. It is. And you gave Nico and I both, uh, both a lovely hard-printed card of a word for the month. And I, I should have brought it, but I took it out and put it on my vanity mm -hmm. so I would see it all, all. But the word was March. Right. And March mid the word really was the inspiration for the word. That was one of your words, was make a real change happen. Right. And that was so powerful for me because that had been very much on my mind, making some changes in a couple areas of my life, personal, professional, spiritual, health, everything. Yeah. And boom, there it was. So I think that words are powerful. And we, I've always said, be careful what you're thinking because every cell in your body is listening. That's right. So when we take the time to really think about our words or turn the words that pop into our mind into a powerful motivation, I think right. that can be very helpful to everyone. Well, today's actually the 60th day of the year. Hmm. Right. So I try to look at things in segments too, right? Mm -hmm. So make a real change happen. We, you know, we set goals in 1st of January, resolutions, whatever. Um, I think it's important to check in with yourself and continue to encourage yourself because it's really easy to start something you know the first week um, then life happens right so I just try to remind myself and that sort of came to me yesterday no every day is a new day, day. Yes. yes yeah that's a great thing so folks we're with Bruce Pulver above the chatter our words matter please pick up the book um, support Bruce's mission to change the, the world one small word at a time while you're at it, make sure you pick up our newest Health Signals newsletter. Great uh, articles this month. And we'll be right back, so stick with us. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge. Formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Nico and Paige take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Living a Primal Lifestyle. And if you're up and at it and you want to give us a call and talk to Bruce Fulver, you can give us a call at 1-877-927-6648. So you are telling us in the beginning, Bruce, about how you really got inspired based on a, a life change of when you had a reduction in force. Right. And you had a cool word for it last night. Instead oh. of retired, you said riff tired? Yeah, that's right. So reduction in force no, tired? That's right. You know, <laughs> the, the stuff's going to happen. Right. And you can choose... How you want it. So you're going to say to someone, hey, you're, uh, are you retired? No, I'm riff tired. Yeah, riff, just got riff tired. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, oh, yeah. you know. But, well, you know, I, I like the way you put a positive spin on everything. And actually, you said on your book, within 45 days after you were into this motion of, of, yeah, riff tired and, <laughs> right. and, and being inspired. You were riff tired but inspired. And you landed a fantastic position with a great company, and the message can, the messages continue to flow daily. And as you said, did for 400 days straight, yeah. and now it's a regular part of your meditative, meditative process, right. really. Right. And uh, you say, my writings emerged out of necessity, yet lasted for all of those days, and has become a joyful routine of finding more inspiration and strength in the tiny power of a word. Right. So I was... I decided to flip, you know, kind of based a little bit on what we were talking about at our dinner party last night. We were talking a little bit about how there's so much stress with a lot of the young. I, I, I'm going to say it's not just our young folks because we sure. have kids that are in their teens and 20s and 30s. But I think that we still have that, too, this stress of keeping up, of keeping up with the Joneses, of staying connected. Right. And are we connected but actually disconnected because we think we're connected through these artificial means. And I, I turn to the chapter that you have here called Unique. Thank God no one is like you. Right. And um, I want you to expound on it for us. Okay. And then I, later I want to also show some people some of your newer word, okay. Word, okay. Word, word, word works. But um, you say here the concept of the popularity contest is hard to eliminate especially in this fast-paced, image-is-everything world of today. Please take pause and know that God creates every person with unique gifts, talents, and purpose, and specific journey, I might add, right? Mm -hmm. Sure, here, yes. here to do. 
take a moment each day to celebrate your uniqueness for these qualities make you the amazing gift that you are. Right. Well, that, so how this whole thing came together was we had 400 messages, but I had to figure out a way to organize them right. into chapters. Mm -hmm. So I'm blessed, my wife and I are blessed to have two daughters. Mm -hmm. And uh, as I was writing this book, they were, they were both in their teen years, one's, one still is, and one's uh, 20. Um, and you, you just see the social environment. And so I, want, I wanted them to embrace the fact that because their differences were what made them awesome. It wasn't a but, it's an and. Right, right. Right. So uh, I think the first one, let me, let me just read one. Can please, I do that? So the, please, the first one I wrote was, uh, was unique. Um, so U-N-I-Q-U-E. In a vertical column. Correct. Mm -hmm. So uh, the U is understand that you rock. Yeah, I want to Regardless. Mm -hmm. Okay. The N is notice the nuances. They make you special. Eyes internalize your uniqueness is a gift. So the fact that you're different is awesome, right? Quick, high five yourself. Give <laughs> yourself some encouragement, right? The you um, is you are amazing. Deal with it using the you are. Mm -hmm. And ease embrace the difference. So we, we spend a lot of time um, in whatever activities they're involved in and just say, you know, try something new. It's, it's okay. You're going to be awesome at it. You're a volleyball player and you're 5'2". That typically doesn't work. Right. But she had a great volleyball career in high school. Right. You know, um, my youngest came to soccer kind of late, but, you know, she, she's put the work in. So the fact that, that everyone is unique, um, I think, shouldn't be a comparison. It should be a celebration. And this reminds me, when you say that about your kids and their passions with soccer and with volleyball, this video that I shared on Facebook this morning, because you know, I get up in the morning and I take a nice warm bath to wake up and kind of look at things, and it's about uh, slow-mo. Slow-mo is a previously a neurosurgeon psychiatrist who well. decided after speaking to a man at 93 uh, and asking him his secret to a long life, and he said, just do whatever you want to do. Mm. And he started to think, am I doing what I really want to do? And he left his career as a doctor, and he just skates 24-7. Wow. <laughs> and he rollerblades, and they call him slow-mo because he basically skates in slow motion and, and gets in meditative poses. And, wow. and a lot of the people in the area said that, um, you know, they thought maybe he was a homeless guy. And no, no idea that he was actually a very successful <laughs> neurosurgeon who had just decided he wanted to do what he wanted to do wow. and embrace that. And I wow. think that's the message yeah. you're, you know, He's definitely being a unique yeah. individual. Well, it's interesting. A lot of folks talk about passion. And uh, I've kind of dialed it a little differently because passion's awesome, but you could, love the, you could love the arts and be passionate about them, but not pursue art, being an artist. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but I've kind of twisted a little bit and saying you can be passionate. I think you also need to be obsessed. You have to really dive in, lean in, and go after something that means something to you, important. Mm -hmm. uh, so passion's awesome. I'm passionate about music. I'm passionate about the arts. Uh, I'm obsessed with helping, trying my best to help others just find their awesomeness. And this really t ties in a lot with that message I saw this morning, and I think it's an important message for today, yep. is to realize that there is no one. There's, like Dr. Seuss says, it's true. It's, it's true, there's no one more you than you. You know, it's something right. I'm paraphrasing, Dr. Seuss, but mm. it's, uh, it's a great message that we really do have to slow down. And like my great-grandmother used to say, don't take yourself so seriously. Right. A lot of what we've talked about thus far is kind of this internal words to yourself, um, you know, trying to, trying to focus on that. But I also think it's really important to be aware of the words we use around others, whether it's our kids, whether it's our relationships, because words have incredible power and an encouraging word to hurt or to heal right so mm -hmm. if you can make a choice um, I'd choose on the encouraging I think yeah, I think that's right and I think it's very um, it's it's very difficult sometimes to remember that when you're hurt or that that the words that you're saying as I said every time you say a word it's a vibration mm -hmm. it's a frequency yeah. and there's much more of a message in our words than just what we think we pick up Consciously, right. it's the unconscious. Well, I, I do also want to say that um, that whole process of the writing was part of a process. Mm -hmm. There was the, you know, you're kidding me. You just ended my job. 
-hmm. This can happen. So you were, you were going anger. through you were going through the grief yeah, denial. Absolutely, mm -hmm. absolutely. That you know, um, then you 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 know you self doubt yourself. Really, I, thought I was doing okay here, but so I, this was definitely a process that didn't just flip on. It was as I was going through, you know, all of those aspects. It was okay, Bruce. Now what are you going to do? Mm -hmm. Okay, because you know you kind of have to at some point move forward, and right. so that's where I think all of this came from. Funny that you say that, move forward. That doctor, neurosurgeon, slow-mo, in that video that I posted on Facebook, he said there's actually something that happens in the brain in our balance when we move forward. So he constantly gets in a formation of sort of almost like a ballerina. He's got his leg extend, one leg in the back. Mm -hmm. He's got to have some real strong legs saying that moving forward. So he's sending a message to his brain and to the universe. I'm moving forward. Wow. I'm unstoppable. I'm going for it. I'm doing what I want to do. And we want you to stay tuned and join the conversation with Bruce Pulver above the chatter, Our Words Matter. Be right back after this short break. We'd like to tell you about the personal training studio that Nico is the owner and president of, Performance Training. Since 1998, Nico has trained individuals and groups to improve their health both mentally and physically. As a certified personal trainer, Nico's main focus is on demonstrating exercises correctly to avoid injury and teaching his clients how to manage their past injuries while getting the most out of their personal training sessions. The Performance Training Studio is filled with unique training equipment that enhances balanced results at a faster rate while minimizing damage and discomfort. For more information, you can give Nico a call at 727-418-8740 or email him at nico at tfnn.com. Let him know you heard him on TFNN and save up to $100 on a special package just for TFNN listeners. Act today. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back to Living a Primal Lifestyle. I want to remind you all to um, pick up some of our Primal Edge daily nutrition. As you know, Nico and I call it the uh, One Shot Wonder nutrition, daily nutrition based on the nature's miracle molecule of fulvic and humic acids, which help you get the good stuff in and the bad stuff out. And Bruce, we're talking about your great book, Above the Chatter, Words Matter. And I, if we can take a look at the Telestrator, thanks Al. These are, so I asked you 
what's what's been going on in that word smithing mind of yours lately yeah and so we clicked onto your instagram and saw some of the things that you've got going on i think our viewers can see this it says i choose out sanity the opposite of insanity yeah so as I tell many of my friends and folks I meet, I say, it's, you don't want to spend a day in my head for long. Cause it, um, but it is unique, and I celebrate, and it's what I have, right? But, I love so it. So the, the words keep keep coming, and, and there's I never know what the inspiration is, but there's... Well, there's, let me say something before yeah. you go into this word. When yeah. you showed this to me, I was like, I love that word. Because I used to have a big T-shirt that I bought somewhere that said, be an outsider. Hmm. And it really was about being a hiker, a camper. I bought it when I was on a hiking trip. And I thought how cool that is because the word insider is like be part of a privileged group. Mm -hmm. But I think it's the opposite. I think being an outsider, being on the fringe, mm -hmm. being outdoors, sticking your toes in the water, mm -hmm. taking sure. a walk in the forest is right. kind of cool. So right. I like your little play on this. Well, Instead of insanity, know, be outsider. There's a lot going on, right? And yeah. I mean, we're hit with everything. And the you know, tragedies and things that we, we wish didn't happen and, you know, uh, there doesn't seem to be an answer for it. There's and, a lot of negative, so we have to kind of diffuse yeah, it, right? Yeah, and I mean, a lot of people are, are hurt and a lot of people are reaching for things and there's a lot of struggle. So, you know, I thought about, instead of focusing on, it's so insane, mm -hmm. right? The insanity is crazy. The insanity has got to stop. Like, the word just, what's the opposite of in? The opposite of in is out. Right. And so I just, you know, looked at it and I, I just kind of, the words just sort of came to, to you know, so, writing the word vertically, mm -hmm. out sanity, outsmarting the norm. Yeah, I mean, just step away from it, right? Don't mm -hmm. accept, you know, try to look at things a little bit differently, right? Right, um, and using your uniqueness, which we kind of talked about earlier. Yeah, you are unique. Right, absolutely. And trusting your instincts. You could, you know, you could, we can all be just crazy just staying in what we think we should be versus or what we think we should do as opposed to just, you know, you know, just act on it. Just just take a step. Go with that gut. Yeah. And yeah. sometimes mm -hmm. that's the exact right thing to do. Saying no to the routine. Yeah, sometimes saying no means making a change. Makes right. it easier to make that change. Absolutely, yeah. And accepting a new route, navigating yeah. a new path. Yeah. I, that makes me think of um, the book cover and from our show, uh, The Path to Wellness. Mm -hmm. You know, Nico says, take right. the path. Take the road less traveled, right. a new path, make a detour. It could be in as your simple life. as now, of course, Waze gets us there the easiest way possible <laughs> yeah. now. But it could be just take a different Sometimes. drive to the world. You never know. Insisting on a new way, mm -hmm. telling no to the same way, and yielding to nothing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and without saying. What all this does, this wordsmithing that I like to call it, is it takes a flat 2D word and it gives it a shape. It gives it a okay, I can do something with this word other than just look at it on a piece of paper. Yeah, what's been fun often is that, so some companies have, have engaged me to you know, come in and do some workshops with them. And one of the things that we'll do, especially if it's a group that works together um, as a team in their job, so they're, they're chasing a goal, they're, they've got a target, they've got a project, to have them as a group come up with a word that they're going to use just for a week or just for this project. And then you can focus on that specific and, and the words that folks come up with, it's unbelievable. It's, it's so amazing. I can see where that would be a very unifying activity for a group mm -hmm. to work on these words. And where the words might individually inspire certain things with individual people, all of a sudden when they collaborate on giving this shape, mm -hmm. this 3D shape right. to the word, then it's something that they can all remember. Right. And, you know... Um, I just like to turn to them. It's such a great book just to turn to. And here's a word, zest. Zesty. Have a zest for life. Tackle it. And let's write this word, zest. Mm -hmm. Vertically, you start with the Z, zebra striped uniqueness. There's that unique word again. Mm -hmm. Embraced. Embracing that uniqueness. What's the E? Excitement of a child. Fostered. Fostered right? Mm -hmm. It. it cultivate the excitement mm -hmm. in your life and right. when i think of zest i think of excitement yeah strong values defended standing tall mm -hmm. proud zest mm -hmm. moving forward tenacious about chasing dreams zesty zesty yeah. yeah yeah and well if we want to add the why what would we say 
you can do it. Absolutely. See, so we just add to it. It's not that hard. Let's get zesty about life today. Mm -hmm. One of the things that was has been really interesting also is I've been asked to, and, and done a couple of talks in elementary schools. Mm. And so you, 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 this was about writing like a, being an author because mm -hmm. it was a it was a language class. So we did the exercise. We went back to the room afterwards. And I said, everybody take a couple minutes and you do it. So they they would write and some of these fifth graders were it was incredible. You know, freedom, love, hope, um, wisdom. These kids right. were it was, and it just gave them something. It to takes about. the definition of the word and like I said, it gives it form and it and it gives it breadth, depth. Yep. Um, uh, you know, there's more to letting go or love. You'd be surprised what they might. You know, they always say, out of the mouth of babes. Mm -hmm. I bet you that was really pretty it was, impressive. It was amazing. Yeah. So I said to them, I'm glad I wrote this book before you got the idea, because they would have killed it. Anyway, it was, it was really fun. Let's do a word well, on the break real quick. And then I, when we come back on the next break, mm -hmm. I want to maybe talk a little bit about how you got going with writing a book. A lot of people probably wonder, how do you sure. write a book? You get an idea, and the next thing you know, you're an author. Right. But let's take the word that I gave you, hope. Okay. Shall we do it now? Yeah, let's do it real okay. quick. And, and right. if, we, if we're still thinking about it, that means I get a break to think about what I'm going to do. Okay. So how, pretend I'm one of those elementary school kids, and, right. and you said, Paige, here's a word, hope. Uh, I saw a guy, and the reason I wrote, used the word hope is he had a tattoo on his arm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I met him, and he was, um, well, actually, I'll probably t preface this, because this is why this word popped in my head. And uh, I met him, and I was sitting at a restaurant, and um, I was doing a pickup order. And he was sitting there, and we started chatting, and he was a defense contractor. Or he worked for big defense contractors, and we started talking about some of the stuff that goes on. And mm -hmm. he, he said, I'm actually getting ready to buy some real estate, going to leave this world. That world is kind of stressful. And I said, why does your thing say nope? And he goes, oh, no, that's not nope, because it did look like nope. It says hope. Hmm. He said, because a lot of times when I felt really under pressure, I needed to feel like I had hope. And I think so many people, this word, the other thing is I always run into people. And my name, you know, my name's Paige, but for some reason out of the blue, I'll meet people and they go, it's nice to meet you, Hope. And I'm like... I'm not hope, and I don't know. Maybe I look like a hope, wow. or, or or what? So maybe so that's, that's what you have. Yeah, yeah. Or yeah. you know, I want to, I want to kind of dissect that word. Okay. So we'll we'll do a little wordsmithing, uh, Bruce Pulver style. Above the chatter, our words matter. So we're gonna we're gonna create something on the break for the word hope, and um, make sure you can pick up our health signals newsletter. Good stuff comes into your inbox twice a month, ten dollars a month. And uh, join us for the conversation if you're up and at it. 877-927-6648. Be right back. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X 
XAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day go to tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv that's tfnn.com then hit watch tiger tv for the latest market information is our last thing no. uh we've got like a couple more okay great or two more great. i think but anyways that's Paige clark and i'm here with bruce Culver, and we're wordsmithing because above the chatter our words matter I was thinking while we were on the break and we worked on our word, I chose the word hope, and we both did one. It was easy. Yeah. And I thought about how many people use the morning, they have coffee and they do jigs, um, word puzzles mm -hmm. or whatever, crossword puzzles. Mm -hmm. And we know that all of that is really good for our brain, of putting our mind thing. This is the same. Start creating these three-dimensional words. And I like the cover of your book. You actually did one of these where you stacked books so i see that shadow of it and the word is there and so the word kind of comes comes into shape for me yeah it's interesting that you you see it that way which is great um i used it's actually a, a stack of boxes mm -hmm. wrapped with raffia as a gift so the the visual there is that this was a gift to me and then the so I had to I had to share that as being a gift without saying a whole lot. Of oh, it. see, it actually but is it a like gift. But, but I was thinking books. Yeah. But you know, cool. but um, you're right. It is boxes, and it's a gift. Yeah. And I like that, and I like the whole cover. So let's talk about our word hope. Okay. So when I saw the word hope, I said, "Hold on," because hope means there's something else. You know, mm -hmm. it's there's something else around the corner. Hold on, opportunity is around the corner. Put your energy in it and embrace the journey. Perfect. And see, there's no wrong thing for this, guys. Everyone is a... That's what's so fun. Yeah, everyone's a winner with this. Right, there are no wrong answers. All right, what's your, what's your word so for hope at, today? I looked at hope um, because I think with hope, it's, it's awesome, but I also believe that action needs to follow. That's mm -hmm. sort of my... You get, like you I said, embrace there. the journey. Embrace the journey. So my hope was have no doubt. And that's what you need to have, no doubt, if you want to have hope. You right. have to, you know, if you're doubtful, it's going to be hard to be hopeful. Right. Right. And, uh, and again, this isn't easy stuff. It's just things to think about, right? And then try to put that in your mind and your actions can then, can then follow. Uh, o was, was open yourself to yes. I have a friend who says, I say yes to life. Okay. <laughs> she, okay. So if you say, do you want to meet for lunch? Of course. I say yes to life. Okay. I say yes to yeah. fun. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, it, you know, sometimes it's, it's easier to kind of have your mind go to the no side because that's, mm -hmm. you know, we, we, we talk a lot um, about change. And one way I define it is until the pain of making the change is less than the pain of staying where you are, mm -hmm. it's difficult to make the right. change. Right. We tend to stay in a box. Right. So it has to be more painful to be sometimes where you are in order to say, i got to get out of this. Mm -hmm. or, or, you know, i got to go fix this riff tired issue okay so, tired so, issue, right? so p was put your worries away so have no doubt open yourself to yes put your worries away and then e where i believe that effort is required is 
expect what you work for. Thank you in advance. Ask right. for it and believe you will receive. Right. Absolutely. That's oh, fun. Well done. <laughs> awesome. Yes, and so here we go. Some some thoughtful time with words that meant something to you, that mm -hmm. inspired you and got you into a better place after a tough time in your mm -hmm. life. And then all of a sudden, there's a book. Yeah. So I want to talk, uh, for, you know, a little bit about the process of how all of a sudden you ended up being an author with this. Because at first, at it, first it, it, it was, it was a, a gift to you. It was a gift, it was a and then it was mm -hmm. a journal. Mm -hmm. Then it was just for my daughters. So the, there was a working title uh, called A Wordy Dad. <laughs> and that, was, that wasn't going to work. And the girl said, no, that's, that's, not, that's, that's what you are, but that, that's not what the book should say. So um, Can I ask you something? Was sure. it something... When you started doing this, would it be like, hey, girls, I have a new word? Or they were like, Dad, what are you doing? How did all of a sudden, I mean, you go from not doing this to all of a sudden you're taking words and bringing them alive like this. Uh, did they say, Dad, you're weird? Or, oh, that's cool, Dad. Well, they Dad, always or... say that. They're daughters, <laughs> right? And, and um, sons do it, too. But, yeah. And that, I embrace that, right? I'm the, I am the, you know, the kind of the nerdy dad um, and have always, always kind of played around with words a little bit. So as it started becoming a process and, you know, I'd come downstairs in the morning, we'd have breakfast and... I'd share them with them sometimes, sometimes not. But um, it, so it, you know, you get this this collection, and I'd, some great friends. You know, I'd send them out and uh, would text me back or, or call me that day and say, you know, thanks for that word. It helped. It, the the feedback was almost instantly um, just so wonderful. So so then what? Um, you know, you can do books a couple of different ways, and I'm not an expert at it. I've been around the, the lap one time, right? So the way my process worked was I thought about doing it myself, a self-published book, and that's a lot of people go that way, and that's, that's a great way to go. You can manage your costs. You can kind of control everything. Um, and there may probably are some limitations on that. So if someone's looking at writing a book, I'd look into those type of, those type of um, tools that are available because it might be perfect. The other extreme was, you know, put a manuscript together or an outline and find publishers, find publishers that publish like type books and send the manuscripts out and expect mostly no's. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, that... You have to have hope. <laughs> you, you, you do, and you, you can't quit. And, and a lot of guys that, and gals that I know that have done books have, have done it that way, and, it, and it's worked. But for me, there was something about it that I wanted to honor because of it being a, really a gift. I know I'm kind of overstating that, but... Um, so I was able to find a method um, that's, that's emerging in the market, and it's called independent publishing. Mm -hmm. It's where you go somewhere in the middle, and you, you find someone that, that you work with, and, and they help you with the editor, they help you with finding the publisher, they help you with your messaging, they help you just coach you through the book process. And that's the method that I went. It, it, so it's sort of an in-between right. self-publishing mm -hmm. or going full-blown mainstream publishing, right. independent, and, so they bring teams of experts to help. Yes improve the book's right. look, feel, yes. coach you into yep. sticking to it probably, meeting Absolutely. deadlines. Absolutely. What was and the name of your publisher? Uh, the, the publishing company is um, Clovercroft Publishing out of Nashville. Mm -hmm. And the, the, the company that I worked with is an amazing group of people that are not just um, book writers. It's called On Fire Books and Leadership Company. And they are all about creating a legacy. And so they, they work with... Um, with all kinds of uh, professionals, um, business owners, athletes, individuals, they they help, they, they they embrace those that are homeless that have a message because they believe everyone has a legacy. They are amazing on fire books. Now, when you said when you said they embrace those that are homeless, you mean figuratively or actually? They actually, will go out and um, you know the, be involved in the community, whether it's a, a everyone has a homeless. story. They'll ask someone their story. And the stories that <coughs> come out of that outreach wow. has been incredible, and they've changed lives. So they're a company that's that's um, you know I'm obviously very fond of. They're they're great people. They they treat me well. They're they're awesome. I've seen the way they support you on your interact with you, yeah. a lot of your team members, and of course um, we have your friend Mark that called in, and yes. we're going to be reviewing his book and inviting him on. I love inspirational stories. I I, I think that's one of the reasons many of us. Get into our social media. How many things become viral that are inspirational? Because I think, as as humans being, you know, mm -hmm. we want to be inspired. Yeah. Well. And we are inspired by the human potential, by the human heart. Well, everyone has a story, and one of the things that I've kind of had to 
think through this is is you know there's so many folks that have you know have large platforms by mm -hmm. which they are changing lives you know 50,000 people at a time mine is more of a one-on-one -on -one. it's growing and, and just embrace the gift well, and both both of those approaches are important change one life at a time or change a big group but we hope you'll stay with us and we're going to share some more information about how above the chatter your words matter with Bruce Polder be right back You don't buy into that nonsense, do you? You know, you can't time the markets. I didn't. And in 2006, I set out on a mission to do just that. I began by surrounding myself with the greats like Tom O'Brien, Larry Pesavento, David White, and Basil Chapman. I read countless books and even looked to the moon and planets for answers. Now, we both know that trading is 80% mental. So I learned the exact tools that Tony Robbins uses to overcome fear. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability. And last March, the folks at Timers Digest began tracking my newsletter signals, which through January 18, 2018, placed me as the number one gold timer for that exact time frame. Now, I can't officially be recognized until Timers Digest has a full year of signals, but clearly, I've learned how to time the markets, and I'd like to teach you how to do that as well. Subscribers to Mastering Probability gain access to my live and archive workshops where I show you the exact same patterns that earn me this number one ranking. If you're looking for great market calls and an education, sign up for Mastering Probability today at TFNN.com. Hi folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! No matter where you're listening to TFNN programming, you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 8 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones, iPads, and Android devices. Located in the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage, you can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply Simply visit TFNN.MOBI in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and call-in talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating Investors. So, Bruce, uh, I wanted to share some of the feedback that you're getting, you know, the acclaim for your book. I love this one. came from a, a sales leader, uh, Christine Wagner. She said, the words in this book are medicine on a page. Yeah, that was, that was wonderful. Food for, the, yeah, food for the soul. Yeah. Really, you know. And anyone who loves chicken soup for the soul will enjoy this book, according to Doug Van Dyke, executive leadership consultant. And he is the author of Leadership Simplified. And finally, uh, Apollo uh, Kessler, DePaolo, senior business leader, says, Bruce Pulver has inspired me. His book is not only a great read, it is a daily encouragement manual. And, Bruce, let's let everyone know where they can follow you. Tell us what's up next, where you're going to be, what you're doing, sure. what's coming next, and how they can connect with you. So go ahead Certainly. and share that so, with us. I've been very fortunate with just, you know, the... Uh, feedback and and I've been uh, engaged to do a couple of talks coming up and that's that part of my so or that slice of the diamond is um, is emerging um, so I've got a couple of talks coming up in May um, my uh, my book company um, on fire books uh, has the what's called the world's largest online book club oh and in June we're planning to have my book featured 
And so it'll be uh, uh, probably a Facebook Live type of thing where we'll, we'll do something like this, talk about the book, and, and take questions and that sort of thing. So I'm really looking forward to that. Oh, that sounds like that'll be a great yeah. interactive I can't opportunity. Wait. Uh, that'll be that'll be incredible as well. Um, folks can follow me. Uh, I have a Facebook page called Above the Chatter, Bruce Pulver, and I continue to post new content and just try to get the word out. And and, and you have an Instagram too. We saw Instagram that. as well. <clears throat> you know, Above the Chatter, Bruce Pulver. Try to keep it the same. Mm -hmm. um, or directly, if anyone wants to reach me for I don't know quantities of books or just to to communicate, uh, it's bdpulver at yahoo.com. Yeah, maybe Al can uh, flash that for people okay. that want to jot it down, your email address, and that way they can connect and I'm sure get a book from you. Yeah, absolutely. And where uh, can they get your book? Uh, my, my book's available <coughs> at Amazon.com, uh, mm -hmm. barnesandnoble.com. Or for quantities, you know, if, if someone wants to get a bulk or wants them personally signed as part of a, a gifting or a corporate thing, they can email me at bdpulver at yahoo.com. You know, I really love that. You told us last night for some corporate groups, you've had some corporate leaders buy 10, 20 books for some of their leaders and then sub uh, uh, subscribe a special message for them and then you autograph right. the book and put that yeah. in the book and then send it out to them. Yeah, that's been, a, that's been really fun and, and, and great. One, one other thing which was totally amazing, um, a company called me <clears> and said, <throat> we're pursuing a business opportunity. It's a very large sale, large, large opportunity for our company um, and it was a very unique name of the customer that they were um, pursuing for this business. And they asked me if I would write a, a message using the name of the company, mm. the same method. And they, were, they in, in, uh, inc included a copy of the book for each attendee and also included in their message for why they felt their cultures were a good match uh, for them to engage and do business together. Now, I haven't heard the outcome yet, but uh, that, that was a very phenomenal, exciting. just an incredibly inspiring, fun project for me. And, and what about doing your own name? That's kind of interesting well, too. Yeah, absolutely. And, and um, <clears throat> you know, every now and again, um, a friend or a colleague or something, if it's a birthday, especially if it's a, a son or a daughter that's reaching a milestone birthday, maybe a teenager or whatever, um, I've done that. I've taken the, the child's name and and, and done something with it. And, and it could be a special message for them or it could be sort of a, a summary of some, uh, some of their unique right. characteristics. Because, yeah. you know, the, the, I can't remember who said this, but the most impor important words that anyone hears from someone else is their name. That's right. The most beautiful sound to anyone is the sound of their own name. That's right. Yeah. That's right. So that's, wonderful. So that's it. And, and it's just been, like I said, um, an amazing gift and a journey and and or journey as I call it J-O-Y. Right? Joiny, right. right. Um, and I'm just I'm just taking what's coming. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a little cough. Yeah, no Bruce, that, I, I really want to tell you that I enjoy the time that we get to spend together. I really find uh, your message inspiring and, and helpful to everyone. I hope you'll take a chance and, and, and get Bruce's wonderful book. We'll have him back on the show and keep us updated, stay connected, and we'll see you next time on Living a Primal Lifestyle. Have a great day. Thank you. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You're watching Tiger TV.